What's up everybody? We are playing a little ranked risk working on getting our GM back. So we're starting with a random rank lobby. Sorry. Window, there we go. Uh we're starting with a random ranked lobby here. I'm playing in Alcatraz with blizzards and fog. Um so this is a wild start to what we're doing. We've also got a bot in here. Start, so we'll see how this goes. Could be ugly. Uh, Alcatraz is a very choky map. You've got a plus 8, plus 6, plus 6 on the left side, a big plus 12 in the middle. A lot of people make the mistake that thinking this is the bonus here. It's this whole section for the first floor. And then you've got second floor east end, which is just a single connection point out here. So extremely choky already. We're playing with blizzards, which means someone set up these settings thinking they can just take advantage of people, um, noobs or whatever. They were not my settings. I just jumped into their settings, which is sometimes my favorite thing to do, although it usually is... Not super productive of a way to do it. Um, okay, so Yellow and I are going to hit each other here at some point. Can I get out of his way enough? Maybe. I don't want to go through his 3 because his 7 will just hit me and I'll lose both. So I think the best way out of here is taking a 100% roll, moving out one of my 4 stacks, and maybe he'll let me take the other one out. But he's also got a 2 here blocking me, so... We uh we kind of spawned in a bad position, Yellow and I here, hitting each other. Uh, so to go through the rest of the settings, we are playing World Dom on Alcatraz. Uh, setup is auto, turn timer 60 seconds. What did I just get rolled? That was interesting. What was that roll? So it says I started uh, with 5, and he started with three he attacked here for some reason that was wild okay uh but we are playing world dom we're playing progressive cards balance blitz dice fog off blizzards on portals off so hopefully he'll let my four out once he sees there's a four here hopefully he'll move back he should figure that out or he moves there that's fine too he should leave me that path out. That would be a really bad mistake for him to lock in my four. Yeah, okay. So he gives me the path out for my four. I at least get it out of there. I don't have a line on a necessary bonus. Um, in Fog, you need to be checking to see uh, kind of constantly what people are getting. Orange gets five on their first turn, just being fourth in, or just being fifth in turn order here. I don't we it was just a, such a tough spawn um with yellow and I So I'm wondering green's clearly got something going down here. They also potentially have something going down here. I think green's in a really good position. Um, this is just the second turn. It feels much like... Ugh, blue's going to block me. That's very frustrating. So he hit yellow. Interesting. Go through yellow here. Move my stack over. I'm down to... I have four territories on turn two here. That's how hard I got hit turn one. I've already lost ten troops. I think I need to keep this stack on this side and then hope that four can get out of there at some point. Why is blue... What is blue... What's his... I'll just move out of his way because he might roll that based off what he just did last turn. I don't understand his goal there. Just he wants the territory that's blocking off half the map. Like this connects half the map. And I'm right in the middle, which is good for access, but a problem when everyone's going to go through me for access. Notice there's only one territory. There's two different spots with this, or there's four different spots with a single territory choke point on this board. And I'm right in the middle of them. Please don't hit my four. Give me one more turn to get out of there because two blocked me. I'll get out of your way. You don't need to roll a four. 
I'm getting out of there. I just need, I didn't want to roll a two for no reason. Surely he can wait one turn. He can move his 12 stack back and let my four out of there. He's really thinking through it. Okay, he's going the other way. That's fine. Ah, he blocked it in. Well, bud, now you got to roll a four. Okay, that's not a smart move. They are not impressed by yellow. Did anybody get any bonus? No. Nobody got any bonus tree. Get our three down here. That's also blocked in by green. See, if you're gonna try to roll these guys, just let them go get out of your territory and you don't have to roll a big stack. I don't know what Blue's endgame is here, what he's trying to accomplish. He's lost four troops rolling somebody though. Oof. Blue is a wild one. Note to self, don't mess around there. Don't count on him to make the smart move. I can't believe Yellow didn't let me get out of there. I have no. I can't get anywhere. Everyone's already got these blocked off, and my troops are all stuck in the middle. My two that aren't in the middle are stuck behind these stacks. I got nowhere to go, guys. It's gonna be an ugly game. The other annoying part about Alcatraz is you can't get the full map in without being covered up. And it's not just me covering up, it's covered up by the cards or something. Like, that's technically maybe the best way to leave the map. Okay, my two gets hit. He's going to roll this three at some point. I don't know if it's this turn or next turn. Green get a, green's in the best spot. No, seven troops, yeah. So green's getting seven. So he's probably got this. Which means blue is really weak. This is dumb of yellow. Oh, please don't roll my eight. Why? 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 Okay, cool. Why? That was a wild decision. He thought I was threatening him, I think, was the logic there. But I literally have nowhere I can go. It wasn't like I was putting my stack in his face to scare him. Yeah, orange hits him, that's funny. That's the bot coming through here. I don't know how much the bot has. The yellow is weak, I know that. He just lost eight troops. As well as I did. This three's gone, I have no hopes for preserving. This five's in an okay position for now, except it's going to get run through by somebody. I could attack down here and try to hide in the corner a little bit, but my axis is already... Oh, green seven just got hit? Okay, blue and green... This is an all-out war by everybody in this game. Um, I think sometimes it's just best to lay low. If I come out here, I'm going to certainly be touching yellow stack. My problem is more that I got to take a territory or take a, yeah, territory. But he's going to hit that. I think I'm going to try this little move down here. With blue and green hitting each other that hard. Let's see what happens. It's gonna get tricky to take a territory for sure. But they're hitting each other so hard, none of them have big stacks. Green trades early. It's gotten so wild that green traded early in this one. He didn't roll a bunch though. He didn't even roll back out to here. Also continuing to kill guard my three. Bot rolls me or bot rolls yellow? Let's see. 
We'd love for him to come in here and mess with yellow after what he did. Ah, don't hit my three, don't hit my three, don't hit my three, don't hit my three. Gosh, I almost got lucky down there with the bot taking out a green seven stack. There's some, been some huge stacks get hit in this game. <laughs> We're not... We've only had two trade... We've had three trade-ins now. Three people traded in early. This is a wild game. These are one of those games you just try to hold on for a little while. That's why I did the seven movie. Oh, blue's also in here. How about that? Don't hit my four. Okay, good. Base hitting yellow. Blue and yellow had an all-out war here. Orange and green had a war here, and that's a bot as orange. And then blue and green had a war up here. So I am laying low. I'm going to go ahead and trade in, though. Because I get to keep my joker. And it's only one other trade that can happen. We're going to keep building this off to the side. And we're going to just keep playing safe for a little while. Back to this corner. I'd like to be able to. Yeah, okay. This at least lets me see what's going on here. These guys don't have trade. Oh, well, yellow has a trade this turn. That might be the problem. Yellow may come right back at me since he rolled my 8 stack for no reason earlier. We'll see. Because he's going to get a. Uh, 12 trade. Oh, he's going to roll my 10 stack for sure. Faux show. He's adding everything to that 8. No, 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 no. He doesn't. Okay. That's much, much better because I think the bot's going to come in here and cause him more problems. Interesting. Yeah, the bot adds here. I think the bot's coming in. We'll see. Based off what he did last turn, it's likely he comes back in. Got a 10 stack out there. Might win this thing. Oh, he hits me. Okay, he goes the other way. That's good for yellow, not good for me. Combining stacks. Hey, can I keep my stack big enough for the bot not to hit it down there? Is now the question. Use my bot kill guard. Yellow not trading is interesting. Blue hits him. Does blue leave a five there? Because that'd be awesome. Except I gotta get a card somewhere. I think blue is hitting yellow. Ah, yes, he lets me. Okay. If I try to get out of yellow's way. Last time he got mad that I blocked the exit. So I'm not gonna block the exit. We're gonna do that and hope that yellow is cool with us being. Okay, we gotta check and see who's getting bonus trips. Blue's got no bonus. Yellow's got no bonus. Green's getting the bonus. So green's your strong player down here. But we know there's a pretty big bot stack on the other side of this. It was a 10 stack, I believe, the last time I saw it. The green's the trouble in this game. Everything's added here, and he, he goes to take the bonus. He hits my 12 stack. Sure. It's just a bad move. I mean, I get that that's what he wants to do. Um, oh, he takes out blue. Okay, so it ends up being a good move. I didn't know that was the end of blue, otherwise I would have hit him. So, it ends up being a good move. I don't think he knew that either. I think he got lucky with that. Now, okay, he plays it safe there. Interesting. Now the question is, do I have cards? I do, because I have a joker. That helps. Oh, I'm dead from the bot. Wow, this game was painful, guys. Bot's adding just to hit my 10 stack. That sucks. Okay. No, I'm still alive. Where's the bot? Bot 
Lot's going to be on three cards, so he could trade next turn. Ooh, I like that he's fortifying over in there, because that's next to green. Question is, do I take a card or not? I think I don't. I think I... Hmm. So, so the reason I'm asking is because if I hit the five here... I'm opening up this orange big bot stack right next to it. I think I wait one turn. I think I skip one turn. I usually don't advocate this, but I think it's my best chance here. The problem is in a fog game, when you skip, you're signaling to the other human players that you're weak. So they're going to come hunt me down. But the thing is, they're probably not going to come hunt me down with the 33 stack. And they're going to have to come through a lot of bot troops to get to me. So yellow's likely trying to find me. They're coming this way or this way. I don't know how big his stack is. Orange gets six. Gets six. Okay, he's not holding a bonus. He's just holding a lot of territories. He doesn't have cards this turn, so that's good. We'd like to see him attack a lot. yellow maybe uh maybe i don't think i have the troops to do it i don't know what his stack is but he's already traded twice i think he's at 40 something troops over there at least i've got 33 on the board now the bot look like just moved their stack up here which is still going to open it if i hit him and he's getting a trade trades are at 25 and the bot got seven last turn, six. So he's getting 31. Could roll a 36 on 36, but pretty unlikely. I'm gonna skip. Oh, you were saying yellow before that? Yeah, so yellow, green has had this bonus the whole time, but I don't know how hard he's getting hit by the bot over on the right side. Yeah, and yellow gets another set on four. He's certainly hunting me down. I just don't know how big his stack's going to be. It's one of those scary moments when you're playing Fog and you know at some point Yellow's going to take out this orange 5. And it's just what number he takes it out with. It looks like, based off the number of attacks he's doing, he's working on cleaning out this area. Uh, which could be weakening green. I think if I'm going to go after green, this is the turn i got to do it. But it won't even set me in turn. I would need five cards to set in turn. Oh, okay, here's the bot trade. Okay, he doesn't add everything to the five. That's a good case. That's good for us. So yellow's gonna have like all of this and he's gonna get it to a one point guard and he's gonna dominate the game. What did he get to start last turn? He started with 11, which means he still just has this. Second floor west end. I, yeah, and he, he adds in here next to green. I think I have to hope green doesn't have cards on four. The bot hits him hard. And that's my only hope in this thing. Okay, he has cards on four. What did he get to start the turn? He got seven troops. This is a little bit of a hide-and-seek game that we're playing now. You're really playing for second. I'm really playing for second behind yellow, just the way that worked out. There was no way. He's getting 17 now. And there's no way that he's going to wait for me last. The hope is 
he hits this 7 with like a 20 stack or something and can't do anything else. And then I can just go ham running back through him. Or he hits it and goes into this because he sees that he can't kill me so he goes to kill somebody else. He should be getting close to a one point guard. So he's getting 17, which means he's got these two locked up now. So he's probably working on basement now. I assume he got it on this turn. So he should have the left half of the board locked up with that many troops. The question is what does the bot have left and what does green have left? I would have to take them both out in one turn with 42 troops. And I just haven't seen him attack enough to believe that's possible. So I'm kind of stuck. There is a possibility that green at some point goes for the bot kill. Like right now, if he goes for it, it would set him in turn. So if he thinks the bot's weak enough, he'll go for that kill. And that could open up an opportunity for me. There we go. But that didn't kill the bot. Interesting. I would love if he leaves that 25 right there. Yeah. So now yellow has to go through his 25 to get to me. I wonder what number he saw on the other side to leave that 25 there. And does he have cards on three? If he has cards on three, he kills me. But if he wants... It's the question of does he want to take out 50 troops um, approximately for no cards? Or does yellow hit this 25? Did yellow... No, he still hasn't cleaned up this second... He was still working on this bonus down here at the bottom. So that's what he's doing this turn. He's got to have it at the end of this turn. Okay, there goes orange. So orange had a couple of territories down here still. Yellow gets the kill on orange. Now the question is, does yellow get green or me first? He's got 40 troops. He's going to hit this big stack of green. Does he hit it with a big enough stack? Or does he... Does it make more sense? Yeah, he doesn't have enough. So he might go hit green in here. He's realizing how many troops I have there, and he's like, ugh, do I want to deal with that? So he's going to go after green this way. How much does he move back? Does he want me to kill green? I think he leaves them all there. I think he's moving troops here. I think this is going to be a bigger number. I'd get second if he moves that troop back. I'd go hit green as hard as I can. Yep. Okay, so we get second. And that's what we were playing for once we went into uh, hunker down mode. Sometimes second's okay. When stuff works out badly when you start a game, sometimes you just got to take second. It was going to be either me or yellow that had a good game. And unfortunately, it went yellow's way. So it ends up being smart that he took me out early. Um, but he, he rolled my stack early, which was a really weird move. I wouldn't have guessed he was going to do that. Where do we put this to surprise him the most? Here. But he's got plenty of troops to kill me. I'm on four cards. If he doesn't have a trade on four, it could get interesting. He doesn't have a trade on four. Okay. I think I get to live another turn. Yeah, he just goes to break me. Okay. Well, at least we get to hit some troops. This will be fun. So we're just going to go up and take out as much of yellow as we can this way. I'm going to leave like, uh, what do we need, 20 here? Something like that. Uh, just in case. You can't really take someone out completely in this because there's just too many pockets. Uh, he's got a 24 there. My bad. Oh, and he still left a 14. Interesting stacks that he left. Probably smart how he did it, because it clearly got me. 
I mean, he had the game one, no question. He gets cards on five here, he wins. We're happy with second. We'll get some uh, rank points, which will help push us on our path to GM. So that's good. Yellow's a pretty good player. He made a really weird move early, but apparently it was a really smart move. Because he kind of knew it was me or him early on. So he went after my stack that was not in his way. So Kudos to Yellow. Chance, Jin. Big game. All right, so we get second. Could have gone much, much worse there, so we'll take second. Sometimes second's okay. Let's check out the rankings here of what they, uh, those guys were. Yeah, yellow's a master, so that doesn't surprise us. Chance Jim. Green was an intermediate. Che5 was a beginner. Hope you guys enjoyed this. We're on the path uh, to Grandmaster. I'm at Mitch on Risk here, helping you get better at the game of Risk. Until next time, everybody, may your dice be nice. See you guys.